Well, today's What I Ate Wednesday is going to be really, really fun. I am going to take you all the way back to 1985 uh, in the summer when I was out of school. And I'm going to show you from uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, I'm going to show you everything that I would eat when I was out for summer vacation in 1985. I was 13 years old, so we're going to have a lot of fun with this. So let's go. Welcome to 1985. I am dressed as appropriately as I can for you. I'm wearing my Belmont Junior High School uh, jacket, my school jacket, and there's my last name on my jacket. This was like my favorite article of clothing ever, and I'm glad it still fits. Uh, in the Every morning for breakfast during the summer, I would have chocolate milk. So, Nestle's Quick Chocolate Milk Mix. I have my glass of milk here. This is the size I would get. And are you all ready to die? This is how I make my chocolate milk growing up. Now, three big scoops. Now I would stir and I would see if it's dark enough to my liking. And if it's dark enough, then I wouldn't put any more. Because you want to get it dark enough to where you know you're going to have some condom, uh, the, the um, stuff floating to the bottom that you can lick at the end. Yeah, that looks dark enough for me. So now, there we go. Oh yeah, that's as good as I remember it. That is so good. Actually, I probably would have added a little bit more. And just a half a scoop more, but that is absolutely delicious. So this is going to be my breakfast today. This is it, and I'll see you for lunch. For lunch today, I'm going to have a can of veg uh, Campbell's vegetable soup. Uh, my very favorite is the bean and bacon. However, usually during the summertime, vegetable is what we had on hand. And uh, I get to use the pop top today to open it. However, when I was growing up, there was no pop top. We had to get the trusty old can opener out and um, open it up with the can opener. Now, when I make my um, any kind of vegetables, any kind of Campbell soup, period, I add a half a can of water to it. Just a half a can. I think it probably calls for a full can, but since I'm the only one eating it, this will fill up my bowl perfectly. So I'm going to heat this up and I'll be right back. So I have my bowl of alphabet soup for lunch and I have some cherry Kool-Aid for uh, my drink. Mom, during the uh, summer, she would always have Kool-Aid in the house. Sometimes we would have like RC Colas, but we weren't really supposed to touch those too much and we were supposed to drink the Kool-Aid because it was cheaper. So cherry Kool-Aid it is or tropical punch. And then I would have my uh, bowl of soup, uh, my bowl of al alphabet soup. Mm. It's very good. It's plain. There's no nothing fancy about it. But I would have this. I usually didn't have any crackers or anything with it. And um, my sister and I would sit and watch the prices right together. So that was always on about that was on about the time that we were eating lunch. The price is right. Uh, so I'm gonna sit now and enjoy my bowl of soup. Right after eating my vegetable soup, I would have a little Debbie snack cake. And mom would always, we either had nutty bars in the house or the Swiss rolls. And I always liked the Swiss rolls. Um, I know in some parts of the country they were called nutty buddies. And I think now they're all called nutty buddies. Uh, but here they were called nutty bars. So the Swiss rolls, you get two of them. And they are filled with cream. I'll be honest, it's not as good as I remember it. It's okay. It um, it doesn't seem as sweet, honestly. It seems like it's a, 
it's not a bitter chocolate, but it's, it's just not as sweet as it used to be, I don't think. For an afternoon snack, I, um, I would have walked up. There was a corner store up at the end of the, the street, and now it's an insurance company, but back then it was the corner store. And uh, my friend and I, or my sister and I, would have gotten some money from my dad, and I would have bought an L8 and a Cherry Blow Pop, and I haven't had a plain L8 in forever. That is so good. Um, it, it's, uh, it's uh, yeah, we don't even want to talk about calories. It's just good. Very good. I wouldn't have worried about the calories back then at all. But the reason I was able to have so much freedom, I think, during the day is because my dad worked third shift for the police department. So he would get off at like 5 o'clock in the morning and he would sleep until... I don't know, one o'clock that afternoon or something like that. So uh, my sister and I had a lot of freedom during the day. And then my mom worked at the employment office. So she was gone all day. So we just had a lot of freedom during the day. But mom came home, she got off at 4.30 and she would cook dinner every night. And so tonight you are gonna see what we would have had for dinner uh, once a week year-round. So tonight for dinner, I'm going to be having this Kraft Spaghetti Classics. This is tangy Italian. It's the sp uh, spaghetti, the spice mix, and the Parmesan cheese. Uh, all you do is add tomato paste. So I have my can of tomato paste, and I've already opened it up. Uh, what you want to do is you put a pot on the stove, and you're going to boil water. Once the water starts boiling, you add your spaghetti and you cook it for 10 to 12 minutes. So you add uh, 12 cups of water, which I have that on the stove and I'm waiting for it to start boiling. Um, in the meantime, you mix your uh, tangy Italian spice mix, one can of the tomato paste and two cans of water in a medium saucepan. You bring it to a boil on medium high heat, reduce heat to medium low, simmer for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. So, um, and then you, later you drain your spaghetti, you place on a platter, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so uh, my mom always used hamburger in her uh, sauce. Uh, they like to add hamburgers. So the directions don't call for that, but I know that that's how my mom made it. And uh, since we're back in the 80s right now, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to put this in a pan and I'm gonna put this on the stove and I'll, um, I'm gonna open up this, um, I'm gonna open up this uh, for you real quick to show you what comes in it. Let's see because I haven't opened it up yet. Okay, so you get your spaghetti, but down in here, you have to be careful you don't throw this in the boiling water. Here's your grated Parmesan cheese and your uh, tangy Italian herb spice sauce mix. So, I'm gonna separate these. Parmesan cheese is for later. The uh, Italian spice, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So this is how you mix your, uh, your sauce. You put the whole can of tomato paste in. And I went ahead and opened it uh, with a can opener. These don't have pull tabs. And then you're gonna fill this up twice with water. So, there's one time, and another time, and I'll probably be able to get a little bit more of that sauce off the sides in a minute. Here's your uh, tangy Italian herb spice mix, and you put that in there. So I'm going to put this on the stove and it said to let it come to a boil and then let it simmer for 10 minutes. Boy, that smells terrific. And uh, then we'll be back. 
The hamburger is finished, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drain the grease and put it back in here. I have my sauce back here. I put a lid on it, like it said, and it is going to simmer. My water is just about to start to boil for the spaghetti. So, as soon, here it comes. Can you see it? It's gonna start now. So, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pour my spaghetti in there. I'm going to time it for 12 minutes and I'm going to drain that hamburger uh, that hamburger and then I'm going to put it back in this pan. The spaghetti finished boiling so I strained it and put it back in the pot. Now I'm going to take my sauce and I'm going to pour it in with my hamburger. spaghetti and plate it gonna get some now this my mom would serve this serves a family of four is what it says on the box and that's not having you add any hamburger to it you know the hamburger makes it go even further so um, you know you don't get a lot here so I'm gonna um, plate this I, I should have gotten a spoon but I didn't that's okay I got it good enough here so get that like that and then you come over here and you have your grated parmesan cheese and i don't use much of this but i am going to sprinkle a little bit so i'm going to take this over to the table and try it now okay i haven't had this in years uh, we bought that uh craft uh, the spaghetti stuff we bought it at a place called jungle gems however they sell it everywhere they sell it at walmart and um, um kroger and any place you go so if you're interested in buying this uh, you can get it anywhere now i haven't had spaghetti with the meat sauce in years um Kevin just never thought that it was a, a necessary thing. I don't think his mom had a um, hamburger with their meat sauce. Um, so we haven't had it like that in years. It's good. Um, honestly, it's not as spicy as I remember at all. I mean, like, I'm going to be honest, maybe my taste buds have gone um dimmed uh but i don't taste much seasoning i mean in the least i taste the flavor of the hamburger and i taste tomato paste uh but even the tomato paste is pretty light um and that surprises me because i thought i remember when i was a kid it having a lot of spices in it and of course you're talking about you know new taste buds uh, but we would have had this uh, during the week after mom got off work. You know, we would have run around and played all all day, uh, all day long. I would have played Barbies or I would have played outside. Even at 13 years old, I would have been doing that. And um, we would have watched the Cosby Show on TV. That was a thing for us. We would normally on Thursday nights, we would, uh, mom would have uh, make spaghetti and we would watch the Cosby Show. And we always look forward to it. So, I like this. Um, I don't know that now that I would, even if I made it like they said without the hamburger, I still don't know that I would get it again just because I don't uh, taste a lot of the seasoning in it. I like it. It's good. There's nothing wrong with it at all. It just... Um, I think I could add more spices using my own spices. I think that I could uh, give it some oomph that it needs. Uh, but this is the end of the day. I would have, after this, I would have had to have uh, taken a bath and gotten ready for bed even during the summer. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this look. 
uh, back into the past, a retro look of, of my childhood growing up. Uh, if you all remember, if you were a kid of the 80s and you remember what you used to have during the summers when you were out of school growing up, I would love to hear about it because this stuff, this is just right up my alley. So uh, I'll see you next week.